very briefly, does it matter which vaccine you received? Is there a substantial difference between between them? So, the, so here's where there is a concern, and and I think that there's a conversation about this. But so what we've seen that is that even even the data that from that's from AstraZeneca, which by the way is very similar technology to Johnson and Johnson and and Moderna and, and, and Pfizer, the data seems very good for severe disease and hospitalizations. But we know that with Johnson and Johnson, the moderate to mild to moderate infections, if you remember, the overall effectiveness was 66 percent in trials. So there's an ongoing conversation. If you got Johnson and Johnson, I would not worry. You're still protected from severe disease and hospitalizations, as we know. But there's an ongoing conversations about whether people who got Johnson & Johnson, whether they should get a booster sooner rather than later, just to make sure that their protection is, is even higher. Um, and and that, that's something that we're still waiting mm. for the science to come through on. Johnson & Johnson is actually exploring a second dose, as you know, and conducting a trial in this regard as well. 